today, Stuart and I are cooking foods for a jewelry fashion show. And our food is supposed to match the jewelry. We have Bob, who is going to be the security for this evening. I have never been around so much money in my entire life. There's more diamonds. Oh my god, look at that. So we get a call from an agency and they tell us that Refinity wants to have Chef Stewart and I come in and cook to showcase their new jewelry. Refinity is glamorous jewelers to the stars and our food is supposed to match with the four gems that they're showcasing. I was super excited. Bling, bling. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Stewart, nice to meet and you. And Benji, you? Hi. pleasure. Manushka, Manushka nice come, to meet come on you. Come in, guys. We've got a lot to do. Okay. okay. And so Anne answers the door blue hair with a wine glass. And every door I've knocked on in the last few parties, I just don't know who's gonna turn up. Okay, so as you know, we're throwing a big event tonight. We're doing an exclusive diamond fashion show for Refinity this evening. As I told the agency, it is really crucial that the food whets the appetite, gets them in a buying happy mood and very impressed. You know, what do they say? Away to a man's wallet is through his stomach. Yes. That's it. I'm just tickled pink. I'm so excited ever since I got the call from the agency. This is my kind of event. So the four looks that we're showing are pearls, black onyx and black diamonds, rubies, and then a big white diamond blingy finale, because that's always fun. So Anne starts talking about all these different types of jewelry, but to be honest, I'm not really feeling it, because my experience with jewelry, zero. Okay, so in a few hours, my partner Rafi will be here. He's really particular. He's a designer, and he's my partner and my ex-husband. So he's gonna come in, and he's a lovely guy, but he's just more picky than I am, so. If you need anything, just holler, okay? All okay. right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get started. I mean, normally when we cook food, we're just trying to make it taste good, but now we gotta make it look good, taste good, and look like jewelry. To match the pearls, we're doing bulgur wheat with the white bean sauce. To match the red rubies, we're doing a Thai dish called Tub Tim Krok, which is tapioca-covered water chestnuts with coconut milk. For the onyx, Stuart is doing salmon truffle. And finally, for the diamond course, we're serving a chocolate diamond bark. <laughs> I've never seen you like, are you nervous? No, I'm just like... You're just not feeling it? No. You're not feeling the blinginess? So with this event, I mean, to be honest, I'm not feeling jewelry. So this is going to be harder for me. So I wanted to get started on the dessert because, you know, this was going to take time. I thought a great idea would be to get like a really high quality chocolate and make like a bark out of it. And I ordered these sugar diamonds and just have them incorporated with the chocolate. This should be like dripping in diamonds. Well, put some of the crystal sugar first and then put that. And then that, yeah. I think, you know, Stuart was playing off his classically trained playbook, but this wasn't a classical event. What is bark exactly? It's just basically like, it's just chocolate. It resembles like the bark of a tree. I mean, I can call, you can call it something else if you want to call so it something else. So you picked the bark of a tree for diamonds? No. Not really. He was maybe a little bit out of his element. You know, it's just put, oh, I don't know. So today, Stuart and I are cooking foods for a Refinity Jewelry Fashion Show. I love jewelry, so I'm super excited, but I'm feeling like I might have to try and inspire Stuart to get on the same page. So I think that's not just the one diamond. Stuart, I don't think these are one diamond people. We gotta bling this bark up, seriously. All I wanted to do was motivate him. I brought my little box of tricks, and it had tons of stuff in there to make things pop. Got some silver spray, some coarse sugar. You know, I feel like I definitely need Manushka's help because her ideas will really help me today in the kitchen. That's nice, I like that. Yeah, because it's subtle. You know, I thought they looked good, but she was like, no, no, it needs to be, you know, more shiny. I'm glad Manushka said something. I think it's looking good. I like it, it's really sparkly now, so I think it's gonna really pop. I just saw his wheels clicking, and he was just on a run. For the black onyx, I decided to do smoked salmon. You know, smoked salmon is such a traditional Irish dish and just so flavorful already. And I just basically used the flavors like, you know, from a scallion, onion, some seasoning, and I would roll it in black sesame seeds, which made it look like the black onyx. Then I saw that spray that we had. So what I did was I just gave it like a quick like sheen of the silver spray and it meant all the difference. It just like popped immediately. Just gives it a bit of a shine. Yep. It's nice. And all of a sudden, he was starting to get it. Finally, I felt we were on the same team. So Rafi comes in, we meet him. Now I'm about to give him this salmon ball. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen if he doesn't like this. That's it? 
Manushka and I are cooking our food for a diamond fashion show. You know, we're actually starting to get through a good chunk of the menu. And then Anne walks in with Rafi. Hey guys. Hey, hey what's going on? Okay, I'd like Hi. to introduce you to Rafi, my partner at Hi, Rafinity. Rafi. Hi. Hi, how are you? So Rafi comes in, we meet him, like this guy with tattoos and like just jewelry all over the place. And Anne says he's very picky, but I wanted to hear what he had to say. It's important for us to have the, the presentation with the jewelry, the designs that we create. We need to make sure that everything looks according to my standard. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Do you have anything for us to taste or to um, look at? Yeah, I could get you, I could have you taste some of the smoked salmon. That's it? That's it. Mm -hmm. Would you do you, do you think it's missing something? I think it needs a little bit of uh, probably a little touch of lemon. Lemon, okay. Yeah. Um okay. I think we got something going. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. You know, with clients, when they come in and they taste something, you know, you kind of only want them to taste like one thing because they always want to like change it some way. Just so you know, the most important thing is it could taste the best, but presentation is the most important okay. thing. Okay. So it's like, so the detail, the fine touches, the lining, that's what I'm looking forward to. Seeing. Presentation. You'll, you'll yeah. get it. Yeah. Just like she said, very particular, very meticulous. So we're going to give Rafi exactly what he wants. Let me get started on this touch of the um, Tub Tim Crop is a Thai dessert, which translates to mean red rubies. It's basically water chestnuts, dyed red, dipped in tapioca flour, boiled with some coconut milk or cream, and some jasmine simple syrup. Everything's going really smoothly until I realize with the water chestnuts, I've missed a really important step. I missed a step, I forgot to dye it red first. You're supposed to dye them red and then put them in the tapioca flour because the tapioca is what keeps the color in and then gives you this really beautiful sheen. So it looks just like a ruby. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. Please work, please work, please work. No. I like that. No, but it keeps mixing it. It's, it's okay. covered with the tapioca powder. I know, just mix it really well and you'll be, it's gonna be fine. I decided to boil it anyways and was hoping that the color would stick. Exactly. Look, the, 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 the red's coming off in the water. Yikes. There goes my red rubies. So people start to arrive. I mean, I can tell these people are just fans of high-end show jewelry. See, look, that's a perfect ruby right there. That's what they're all supposed to look like. But, you know, Manushka just won't have confidence in her dish. Now, Anne comes down with Rafi, and she's in this like stunning dress. She looks absolutely beautiful, and she has all these pearls in her hand. Look at you. Get out! Oh, I was shaking. I have never been around so much money in my entire life. That's what we're going for. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Feels good? Yo. And uh, yeah. we have Bob, who is going to be the security for this evening. This guy named Bob opens this box of huge diamond rings. There's more diamonds. Oh my god. I mean, this box probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. Make us proud. Thank you. Right. Absolutely Thanks, well. So from looking at these, then does this does this help you anymore? No, I can't. I can't make my food look like that. No, I thought I would never do it in my life. I'm taking jewelry and I'm putting it up towards my food. Oh, see the that, red? See yeah. that goes in the light. It's as bright as that color. So I think we got that covered. I'm like watching him really get into the jewelry. He's like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And he's holding the real rubies up to my dish, and I'm thinking, yeah, they do look alike. Turned out perfect. Okay, so I have the bark here. Look. This definitely works with this, right? That works perfectly with that. You know, I have my chocolate bar and I put this bracelet that's just iced in white diamonds. And with, it actually kind of looks like it. We'll call it pave bark. Pave bark? Mm -hmm. That's really the similar. You know, sometimes when, you know, you have to mimic items, the big challenge is striking that balance between presentation and flavor. Welcome to yet another one of our exclusive Refinity Diamonds Are Forever fashion show events. When I heard all these people clapping, I just start to get a little nervous. I mean, we're responsible for wetting these people's appetites so that they'll spend a lot of money here tonight. That's a lot of pressure. But before I can think too much about it, it's showtime. So now the models are coming out with the food that we're trying to mimic, and woo, they look fantastic. Our chefs have prepared a savory bulgur wheat with white beans served in a mother of pearl oyster shell. For the pearl dish, I took bulgur wheat, which is a small whole grain, and rolled it together with a white bean sauce and finished it with an edible pearl spray. 
people are just so impressed with the bulgur wheat. Like straight away, they see it mimics a pearl. Up next were my red rubies, the Thai dessert dish, tub tim crop. And the plate is just gorgeous because I got these red ruby beads all along. And the model comes out walking with the rubies and she looks fantastic. Wow, that's amazing. They mopped it up, they loved it. And next we have the black onyx, some black diamonds. For the onyx jewelry, it was my turn to serve the salmon truffles covered in black sesame seeds, garnished with sour cream. And everybody is loving them. That is phenomenal. I go up to Anne, I give Anne one, and she swoons over it. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Enjoy oh that. Oh my god. Then I must say, these black diamonds and this onyx, just incredible looking. People are just wow. Now, it's time to serve dessert. A chocolate diamond bark. And for our grand finale, a girl's best friend, the ultimate in diamonds, to the Oscars or to the beach? I was really excited and really proud about this dish. They are just loving it. But I'm thinking, where's Stuart? It's his dessert, after all. Hey, folks. We have a, we have a surprise. Now, Rafi hasn't spoken at all. He's been handling the models the whole time. And then I look in the corner of my eye and, oh my god. Black diamonds for men. Stuart no longer has his chef whites on. He is walking down the runway with two girls dripping off of him and dripping in diamonds. So back in the kitchen, Rafi asked me to model his new men's line of black diamonds. I was like, you only live once. You gotta do these things. Fabulous! Stuart is the icing of our blinged out finale. And while they say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, Stuart's mine. And I'm really glad I got to share this experience with him. Thank you all for joining us for a night of delicious food prepared by our private chef, Stuart and Manushka. Thank you.